Hello YouTube, this is Big Buck 762 I'm going to do a review, just mess around here because it's raining outside, so I'm stuck here in the garage again. Uh, a couple fire starters I have. Here's the Ultimate Survival Technology Strike Force, which I love this thing. I keep it in my pack. Those good sparks. You can see. And what's nice about this is on the end here, got a place you can put some tender. So you can put through the cotton ball in there or whatever and give it a try, see how we do with it. I know it'll fire right up. And there you go. Get that out of the way there. Then what I did was I took an old, uh, like an old cigarette lighter there, burn out, so I took that metal piece off and see how that works. There you go. Like I said, old Bic lighter. Just then I bought the uh, Cognons there. I guess that's how you pronounce it. At Dick Sporting Goods. It come with this piece here. I really don't care for this piece because I don't think it gives too good of sparks. I can't get it to once in a while it works, but I just took that all threw that away and what I used a piece of hacksaw blade. Just throws pretty good sparks there. So let's see what we can do with that. And I keep that in there with my with the Ranger band and my with my more witchcraft heavy duty carbon steel. And this here, what I did was I took uh, I seen a few guys do it. Dave Canterbury did it. What I did was took it on the grinder, on the bench grinder there, and put an edge on there so it'll throw sparks. So this is the, like I said, this is the carbon steel one. And I got the, uh, picked this up at Dick Sporting Goods too. Picked it up at the end of the season last year. It was marked five bucks, so I figured that. Eh, let my fire, I've seen a few videos. I know they're pretty good. This is the Light My Fire Mini. And I've seen some of them. They come with this striker here, which I don't, like I said, I don't care for it. I can't get work too well, so. But this one here came with this little striker here. And it also has a whistle built in. So it's multi use. Which works pretty well. But let's see what we can do with this. And there we go. Got that. This is the ultimate survival technology also. This is, the, I guess they call it the Sparky or something. I picked up Walmart last year. You know, it was like three or four bucks. That means nice for one-handed use. And there we go. Like 
like I said, this is nice and compact. You can put a piece of paracord on there, which I haven't done yet. And then we got the magnesium bar there, which I really don't care too much for this. I picked up the uh, Harbor Freight for two bucks. It was on sale. And I've got the magnesium, I mean the ferro rod there. I've used it quite a bit. Use the magnesium. I really don't care too much for the magnesium for this particular one because it don't seem like it really catches too well. But that thing ain't working. Let's try this uh Here's a hacksaw blade again. And like I said, it works pretty well. And what I did was to light my fire. I put that on my keychain, because I always have my truck key with me, so. And messing around with the paracord, made a little monkey fish, put a, I guess it's like a one inch stainless steel ball in there. Eh, works pretty good. You never know. I just tied that on there, and so that's my review on my uh, fire starters there. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video, subscribe. I'll try to get another video up soon. Thank you.